This video will cover the topic, Solving a Value Mixture Problem Using a System of Linear Equations. Let's start with an example to get an idea of what a value mixture problem might look like. Two mechanics worked on a car. The first mechanic worked for 10 hours and the second mechanic worked for 5 hours. Together they charged a total of $1,350. What was the rate charged per hour by each mechanic if the sum of the two rates was $175 per hour? That's a lot of information. How am I supposed to keep track of everything? We need to first identify what the question wants us to find. Well, I guess it looks like in the end, we will want to know what the rate charged per hour by each mechanic was. That's right. This will be the end goal we will work towards. Now to keep track of all of this information, we can create a table. What kind of information are we given? Well, it tells us the sum of the two rates the hours each mechanic worked, and the total amount charged. Correct. Now we determined earlier that we want to find the rate charged per hour by each mechanic, so we will assign these variables. Let x be the rate in dollars per hour charged by the first mechanic. Let y be the rate in dollars per hour charged by the second mechanic. And the sum of the two rates was $175 per hour. So for our first equation, we have x plus y is equal to 175. We know that the first mechanic worked for 10 hours and charged x dollars per hour. So the first mechanic charged 10x dollars. And the second mechanic worked for 5 hours and charged y dollars per hour. So the second mechanic charged 5y dollars. We also know that they charged a total of $1,350. What do you think we should do for our second equation? Since the total amount charged was 1350 and the first mechanic charged 10x and the second mechanic charged 5y, then 10x plus 5y equals 1350. Great job! Now we have a system of linear equations to solve. Now we can solve for x and y. First we will want to multiply this entire equation, x plus y equal to 175, by some number that will allow us to cancel out either x or y when we add the two equations. Ok, so since we have 5y in the other equation, we can multiply this one by negative 5, right? So that we can subtract 5y from 5y. That's right. We can multiply this equation by negative 5. And we get negative 5x minus 5y is equal to negative 875. Now if we add the two equations together, we get 5x plus 0y is equal to 475. 0y is just 0, so we really have 5x is equal to 475. We can divide both sides by 5, revealing that x is equal to 95. This means that the first mechanic charged $95 an hour. Ok, well now we know what x is, and that tells us the rate charged by the first mechanic but we still don't know the rate charged by the second mechanic. We can determine the rate charged by the second mechanic by finding what y equals. We determined earlier that x plus y is equal to 175. We also recently found that x is equal to 95. We can substitute 95 in for x. To get 95 plus y is equal to 175. If we subtract 95 from both sides, we find that y is equal to 80. Oh, ok. So the rate charged by the second mechanic is $80 an hour. That's exactly right. By using our system of equations, we are able to determine the rate charged by each mechanic. Ok, I think I get it. But let me make sure I understand. First, we identify what the problem is asking us. Next, we gather all of the information our problem is giving us and organize it so it makes sense. After that, we use all the data we were given to create two linear equations that relate to the question we are trying to answer. And lastly, we solve the system of equations by finding what one variable equals, then substitute that value into one of the equations to find what the other variable equals. And this gives us our solution for the problem. Is that right? That all sounded great. It seems like you're ready to solve more systems of linear equations.